All right, well, we are officially in the season of winter, and today it really didn't feel so much like it because we were above average. Yesterday, we were above average, too. A high of 34 degrees. Our low was at 27. You can see the normals now are at 24 and 10 degrees, and the records... 53 degrees and at minus 21. So uh, really, those weren't anywhere in doubt at one boat at one bit because we saw just uh, the mild conditions. It wasn't too far above average, but well, this was a bit warm. But as we go into our tomorrow, things do start to get a bit warmer and we'll find ourselves mostly in the 40s across the region. Sunrise now at 830 and sunset at 508. Here's a look at today's highs. We topped off at 35 in Ontonagon, 35 down in Iron Mountain, upper 30s into Escanaba, Marquette at 32 and at 32 in Houghton. And as we take a look at our winds, they'll come in from the south, and this will help to bring in more of that milder air mass throughout the night. So really not going to be dropping much from where we are right now into those lower 30s and a few of us in the upper 20s. But some of us could e even warm throughout the night as this next system does come in and provide more moisture too, which will be in the form of rainfall because of the milder air that is on its way into the region. Expect winds anywhere between 5 to 15 also. Your headlines, milder evening for us with temperatures only dropping into those lower 30s across most of the region. Much warmer as we head into our Wednesday with highs <coughs> topping off in the low to mid 40s across the majority of the region. And yes, we'll be looking out for those rain showers. So have that jack jacket, rain jacket or umbrella with you before you head out there. And then cooler, but not much colder as we go into the end of the week, getting closer to your Christmas Eve and on into Christmas Day itself as we'll drop from the 40s tomorrow down into those lower 30s, but uh, not going to see much of a drop off after that, especially not going to see anything like what we saw over the weekend and snow will be on a limited basis for us because we're not going to have as much of that cool air to provide those lake effect snow chances for us. But this is our system coming out of the central plains, providing that milder air mass on the front side of it. And we'll see the rain associated with that as we go into tomorrow. And here's a look at that right there as the system makes its way through the Great Lakes, providing rain all across milder air as well with temperatures in those 40s for us into lower Michigan. They could be looking out for more of the 50s and perhaps in the southern part of the state in the lower 60s. But here's a look at your future cast model. Very cloudy as we head throughout the night. You can see maybe just a slight chance of a sprinkle or a drizzle across the region, but rain chances pick up for us heading into tomorrow. And on the backside, yes, we'll see a chance of some light snow, but not really going to see a lot. And it's just, just going to depend on where exactly those lake effect snow bands do set up afterwards, even though we're not expecting it to be quite as widespread over the weekend. But it is going to depend on where they set up to see who actually has a chance or a better chance of seeing a white Christmas if you didn't see a whole that snow over the weekend. But here's a look at tonight. We'll drop down to 32, an overcast evening with not quite as chilly conditions. Winds will be out of the south around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Let's take a look at your Wednesday. Wind, uh, wind, wet and mild for us with winds out of the south-southwest at 5 to 15. Upper 30s for highs in Lawrence at 39 in Ontonagon. Middle 40s in Florence and in Iron Mountain. 46 degrees in Escanaba while at 44. In Manistique, we'll top off at 43 and at 41 here in Marquette. And as we take a look at your day planner, starting off right around 32 tomorrow morning, maybe some drizzle, but not expecting much out of that uh, during the morning time. Our better rain chances will come into the afternoon with a high of 41 degrees. And by tomorrow night, that's when the cool air does begin to re-enter the region. And that's why we'll notice more of a rain snow mix as we go late into tomorrow night and on into Thursday for Christmas Eve itself. But here's a look at your seven day forecast. Wednesday at 41, dropping back down to 34 as we head into Thursday with a rain snow mix. Maybe some more light snow showers as we head into Friday and Saturday with highs. It looks like they're leveling off right around those middle 30s, so not too cool as we go over the next few days. Actually quite comfortable, especially for this time of the year. Heading to Sunday, we'll be at 34 degrees with just mostly cloudy skies. And Monday next Tuesday, yeah, seeing more snow chances on the way for us. But uh, all throughout the period, not expecting a lot, a lot of sunshine at all. We'll remain quite active as we go over the next few days, and also uh, we'll remain mild, except as uh, before we start to get into next Monday and Tuesday when we'll cool off back into around that freezing mark in the upper 20s on Tuesday.